Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to perform chi square goodness of fit test by using SVS. When testing a data set, whether it can be fitted by a known distribution, the most common mistake that we made is to a wrong degrees of freedom. Recall, degrees of freedom is equal to k minus c minus 1, where k is the number of categories, not the number of observations, while c is not simply the number of parameters, but the number of parameters to be estimated. To have better understanding, consider the following cases. Case 1, we have to estimate the parameters before we are able to perform the test. For this case, c is equal to 2. For case 2, we just have to estimate either the mean or the standard deviation, but not both. In other words, we just have to estimate one parameter. For this case, c is equal to 1. And for case 3, since both the parameters given by the question, which means that we can conduct the test directly. And for this case, c is equal to 0. If we are given a set of raw data, we are not able to perform chi-square test directly. According to the chi-square test, the degrees of freedom is equal to k minus c minus 1, where k is the number of categories, which means that we should first convert raw data to group data with a specific number of categories. To obtain the number of categories, instead of transforming the data, we are going to make use of graphs since it's faster. Click on graphs and we look for legacy dialogues, the histogram. Move the variable of interest to variable Click on OK and we should obtain histogram. Double click on the graph, double click on the bars, under pinning, look for axis, click on custom, click on interval width, pick a suitable interval width to decide the number of categories that we want, unless the question specify otherwise. Let's say we want to have class width of 10 for each category. Click on apply and we should obtain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All together, 6 groups. Close and we should add labor. Click on the labor, click on textile, increase the preference size to a bigger number so that we are able to observe the number clearly. For classes with observations less than 5, we should group together with the neighboring class. Next, transfer the class boundary together with the frequency to the data field. So we should have the lower limit 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190 to 200. Again, recall that we should group the last two classes since we have observations less than 5. So we shouldn't have 190 but jump to 200. And this is going to be labeled as the lower class boundary. And we need one column for upper boundary. Enter the upper boundary 150, 160, 170, 180 to 200. Since it's already completed, we can delete the last class since it's not needed. All together, we have one, two, three, four, and five groups, which means that k is equal to five instead of 1000 and for the frequency we have 27 286 382 255 and the last class is 50. go to variable view rename frequency with no decimal places we should always bear in mind that normal distribution could range from negative infinity to 
positive infinity. To ensure that the total expected values could sum up to 1000, we should change the minimum and the maximum value in order to cover full range of probability. All we have to do here is take as small as possible for the minimum value and as big as possible for the maximum value. And we can now obtain the expected value. Go to transform, click on compute variable. For the target variable, we can type expected. For the numeric expressions, since we are going to determine the probability for a given range, and SPS always takes less than cumulative. We should take upper minus lower. Make use of the CDF function. Look for normal distribution up. First question mark is the x value. Always upper minus lower. So click on upper and we insert. For the second question mark, make use of the mean and the standard deviation that we estimated. We have 164.82 for mean and 8.623 for standard deviation minus the lower boundary. Click again the cumulative distribution function, the normal distribution R. Change the first question mark to lower and change the mean to 164.82 and the standard deviation to 8.623. This will provide the probability for the given range. However, what we need here is to obtain the expected value, which means that we should times the total, which is 1000. Press the asterisk to have times. Remember to add bracket. Click on OK and we should obtain the expected value. Go to variable view, take as many decimals as possible so that the result is accurate. Before we proceed to the test and obtain the test statistics, let's determine the critical value and the rejection region. Recall we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 categories. So which means that k is equal to 5. And we have two estimated parameters. So c is equal to 2. i minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 2. Make use of a new data book. Make sure the data field is not empty. Simply type any value. Press it to transform. Click on compute variable. Target variable. Simply type a letter. Numeric expression, we want the inverse df. Look for chi-square distribution out. The first question mark is the probability. Since the significance level is 0 0.05, however, SVS always take less than cumulative. And this is more than cumulative. We should take the complement, which is 0 0.95. And with degree of freedom equal to 2. Press on OK and we should obtain the critical value that we want. Take four decimal places if needed. Now let's proceed to the test. Click on data, weight cases, and we should weight by frequency. Click on OK, all the classes should be weighted by frequency. Now let's proceed to the test, analyze non parametric test, legacy dialogues square. Move the variable of interest to test variable list. Our intention is to test the height. Instead of using the raw data, we should either take lower or upper. Since lower and upper represent a particular class, they shouldn't have any effect on the output. We can take lower or upper. Click on values and input all the expected values that we obtain. If you want to input only four decimal places, count the check. Make sure the total sum up to 1000. So we should have 42.8382. At the next number, we have 245.2528. At next, we have 
by 4 rounded to the nearest 4 decimal places at. Next, we have 234.8443 rounded to the nearest 4 decimal places at. And the last one, we have 39.1693 at. Click on OK and we should obtain the test steady state. If we need more decimal point, double click on the table, select the number, right click and look for cell properties. Go to format value and increase the decimals. Click on OK and we should have the desired format. According to the result, since the test statistics is greater than the critical value, which means that we should reject hash null at alpha equal to 0.05. In other words, there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the distribution of heights cannot be fitted by a normal distribution. If we want to make use of the p-value approach, we should be careful. Since SPS wouldn't know how many parameter going to be estimated so which means that we should minus the value accordingly and we should compute the p-value by ourselves go back to the detail view click on transform compute variable reset target variable type p since this is the p-value for the numeric expression we should use CTF cumulative distribution functions. Always bear in mind that what we need here is more than cumulative, but SPS always take less than cumulative. So which means that we should take one minus less than to have more than. Choose the desired CTF, the chi-square distribution up. First question mark is the test statistics 24.4851 and the second question mark is the degree of freedom. For this case, it's equal to 2. Click on OK and we should obtain the p-value that we want as we can see here. This is approximately equal to 0. It's not a good practice we write exactly equal to 0 since this is not exactly equal to 0 but approximately equal to zero. And this value is less than the significant level, which means that we should reject hash null at alpha equal to 0.05. Again, there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the distribution of highs cannot be fitted by a normal distribution. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.